When you open Hatch, you'll land on the home screen. This is all new to Hatch 3 and is your launch pad to all things Hatch. Over here on the right side, you can catch up on all the latest news, visit the community to ask a question or see what others are doing, or visit the blog for new articles on machine embroidery and using Hatch. At the top, if you're using the trial, you can easily see how many days you have left, and you can click Buy Hatch Now when you're ready to purchase. If you're not sure what level to purchase, you can check that out over here. You can learn about software levels and add-ons in My Hatch, and add-ons would include gems and fonts. You can take a Hatch tour. If you want to learn even more about Hatch, visit the Academy. If you're a trial user, you'll have access to many free getting started lessons to help you learn Hatch quickly and easily. If you've purchased Hatch, you'll have even greater access. When you're ready to get to work, click the new button to create a new design or open one that's already been created. And that can be an EMB file or a machine file. When you first open Hatch, this area, Open Recent, will be empty because you haven't opened anything yet. This will show you all the designs you've recently opened. To reopen one, just click it. In the far left column at the top, we can go directly to the Hatch Design space, or we can go to the Design Library. We also have links to these other things we've seen over here. So for example, if I want to go to the Design space, I'll just click there. And here we are in the Hatch Design workspace, and you can see that the Embroidery Tool icon is highlighted, and it tells us where we are. We can easily go back to the home screen here, and we can also get to the library, either from the Design Library tab here, or by clicking on Manage Designs. So it's very easy to get back to the home screen, or go to the Design Library. You'll find that the new home screen in Hatch 3 makes it easy to access all things Hatch.